Hey. My name is Lee Matthew Jackson. You are joining me live as I share with you today my WordPress plugin stack. And for the record, it's a capital P in WordPress for anybody who is in doubt. In fact, I make my plugin purchasing decisions and my freelancer and consultant investments very much based on whether or not the capital P has been added into WordPress. So if you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Please give me the letter P or an emoji. And if you know the special plugin that rectifies any misspellings of WordPress, I challenge you to go find that and share a link for that in the comments. But let's set the scene. I'm a WordPress agency. I build websites for clients. Predominantly nowadays, at least in Agency Trailblazer, we build websites for ourselves. And we have a stack that we absolutely love. It facilitates our processes. It allows us to quickly and efficiently build WordPress websites that are fit for purpose, that do what they need to do. They allow us to build MVPs and they allow us to be build real end products. These are well-priced, well-supported, clean, crisp, easy to use, fast plugins or themes. And I highly recommend them to the extent that there are zero affiliate links in here. I'm not looking to make money. I'm looking to share with you what I believe are the absolute best plugins in the industry at an absolute bottom line basic burger that you might need to build an efficient website. Thank you, Anastasios, for your letter P. P, WordPress capital P. Right, let's, let's take a look. The first one for me is obvious. Everyone's heard of it. It's Advanced Custom Fields. We use Advanced Custom Fields Pro. And just to show you it, let me even go ahead to the extent of sharing my screen. So we have here Advanced Custom Fields Pro. You can find that over on advancedcustomfields.com. There is a free version which you can use, which has the basics. And then this extends that, including allowing you to build Gutenberg blocks should you be using Gutenberg. And I am only going bottom line basic. I'm not giving you all of the extras that we would use. So Advanced Custom Fields Pro, this allows us against any post type to create a range of fields. Uh, with that, we can gather information or we can ask our clients to fill in data. Thus, we can display that information. So Advanced Custom Fields, highly recommended it. It's got repeaters. It's got... Um, uh, you can add maps to it, I believe. You can add checklists, selects. You can do relationships as well between post types, etc. Super easy to use and ridiculously good documentation in here. Um, you can go in here. You can find code snippets and code examples that you can use to display your code um, within your theme. Let's just take a quick look as well, actually. Um, hook turns. If we go, uh, is it hook turns or hook turn? I'm sure it's called hook turn. Hook turn. Uh, let's type in ACF or something like that. There we go. Hook turn to IO. If you um, need the extra code, you can use this. It's called ACF Theme Pro. And what this will do is actually generate the code for you at the bottom so that when you create all of your custom fields, you can actually create, sorry, you can actually copy and paste the code that it creates, which is really, really special. And uh, this is also an extra bonus. There's a couple of extra bonuses on here as well. Um, you can use this if you want to create a central centralized database. So rather than having post meta, which are all related to uh, your post, post ID, which means if you have 20 fields, you have 20 um, post meta rows in the post meta table that are related to the post ID. You can get around that by using this, which is the custom database table, which gives you a centralized 
data table and they've got pretty good support they don't support repeaters uh, i believe as well so these are a couple of bonuses that i haven't actually listed but certainly things that are worth checking out especially this one this is a bit of a time saver if you're using acf pro and you want to be able to generate the code for your theme without having to go into the documentation but like i said the actual documentation is utterly phenomenal they've also launched something which is fairly new i've not tried this yet but this allows you to create front-end forms for acf it's really easy to do that in code so you don't need to use hook turn for that but if you're looking for something that makes it easier certainly check this out i can't speak for this i can speak for theme code pro and for custom data tables um but at a bottom line basic burger, if I'm going to build a website and I want custom fields, I'm going to use advanced custom fields. The next one that I would use is the Page Builder Framework. So Page Builder Framework itself is completely free. And what I will then do is I will go to the child theme generator. This allows me to simply input the information I need to for the theme that I'm building upload my screenshot, press download, it creates the download, and then I can upload the zip file of the child theme, and I can then activate that as long as I've got the Page Builder Framework um, installed. And then that means I'm editing the child theme rather than the core theme itself. So I love what they do. They support pretty much any page builder, and there is no page builder on this list, although I am obviously going to share at the end what page builder is my favorite. But certainly check this out. I've got the Pro add-on, which gives you the ability to um, set global settings across the board, so with regards to page widths, um, headings, and so on and so forth. So I really recommend uh, for development the Pro add-on, which is a pre premium plugin. They give a lot away for free, to be honest. But if you want those extra services, then be sure to look at the premium add-on. And we activate the premium add-on every single time. Right then, let's keep going. Custom post types, UI. Now, this does a lot for free. This, In fact, you never need to buy the pro version if you don't want to. It's incredible. If you, like me, remember WordPress 3.0, you will have taught yourself how to create custom post types and taxonomies, and you'll understand that supports, you use supports, and then you put comma, um, um, contents, comma, uh, comments, sorry, co comma, uh, uh, thumbnail, comma, whatever, comma, 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 and you would set up all of those settings. This does it all for you. It is simply a form structure. You fill in all of the blanks and you can create multiple post types. You can create multiple taxonomies. You can relate them to each other as well. And it is also fully compatible with the likes of ACF. So create all of your post types in this, then create all of your fields against those post types in ACF and the beauty of it is, is it generates the PHP code again for you, meaning you don't have to leave this activated at the end of the day. You can create all of your post types in MVP, get everything set up. Then when you're ready, export the PHP, remove the plugin, pop that PHP into your plugin or into your theme, and you are ready to rock and roll. So I highly recommend this. I would recommend if you can spare the cash to support the company behind it and buy the pro version as well. I actually don't know what the pro benefits are. I just bought a subscription once. Um, next one is admins column, admin columns even. Now, admin columns is something that we can't do without. It works on a multi-site level, so that's very important for us because we do a lot of WordPress multi-sites. And uh, this allows us to do two, so well, several things. This allows us to create uh, admin columns for our users so they can see the information in a way that they that they need to manage that data. They can export that information. We can create multiple views depending on the types of user. We can create view groups. We can add extra filters so people can filter the information. And we have some really big websites with a lot of data. So this is an invaluable product for us to be able to present really good looking uh, tables of data essentially for our clients depending on what post types we have. They can, like I said, they can filter, they can export, they can do so much more more. And again, if you want to, you can output that 
as PHP, you can add that into your theme. So you do need to at least keep this activated. But if you want to standardize uh, those columns, etc., then you can output that to PHP and put that again in your theme. And that would work across multi-site or alternatively, you can export, I believe it's a JSON file and you can import that into other sites. So I would highly recommend Admin Columns Pro. You can obviously have the free version as well. Yes, Anastasia says, love me some Admin admin columns hook turn is new for me says rick yeah go and have a look at those shiny objects mate and i guarantee you you will have spent a minimum of 300 dollars by the end of the day courtesy of yours truly thank you very much as you say i'm not an affiliate right admin menu editor pro this is the final one and then i will reveal sounds very exciting my favorite page builder and why but i've not put it on the list deliberately <sighs> admin menu editor pro does what it says on the tin you can create multiple views depending on the role and you can completely control what your users can see in the back end of the website. Therefore, your editors will only see what you want them to see. You can control the toolbar, you control the menu icons, you can control um, dashboard widgets. There is so much you can control. You can hide this plugin from other users, from other admins. You can essentially lock down WordPress till your heart is content to ensure that your clients cannot ruin the what is going on. They can't activate plugins, etc. They can't mess stuff up. They can only access what you want them to be able to access and update what you want them to be able to update. It is an incredibly powerful tool. It's very fast. It's very efficient. It works on multi-site as well, again, which is super Super, super important for us so that we can ensure that across an entire network of say 100 to 300 sites everybody is getting the exact same user experience depending on the level of access we've given them via this and their user role so i highly highly recommend it all right so what i've shared with you is advanced custom fields the page builder framework the custom post type ui admin columns and uh, admin menu editor pro I use all of those with Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is my all-time favorite page builder. Elementor is great. It looks fancy. It's got all sorts of extra tools and bells and whistles. It's great for designers. I get it. Oxygen is great. Great for developers, etc. I get it. I get there's all sorts of amazing page builders out there. I also get that Gutenberg is catching up and uh, has such promise and potential and even works with ACF now that you can build Guten blocks, etc. But my all-time favorite experience for my clients and for me to build a website and to give me enough development control that i need with regards to the integration with acf you know with custom fields with custom post types using the thema platform that they also have rolled into uh, beaver builder that gives me the best development experience that means i can develop an mvp or an end product quickly and efficiently so i highly recommend beaver builder and i do actually have an affiliate link for this one um but i can't remember it so <laughs> so i'll share that one in the comments later if you really want to support what i do but folks that's pretty much it from me with regards to my development stack these are perfect plugins to build an mvp they are good enough for an end product as well but they will increase or uh, what's the word yeah they'll increase your overall efficiency they will allow you to build websites quicker they'll al most in many cases sorry they'll allow you to export code so you don't have to rely on those plugins in the future as well so um yeah i highly recommend advanced custom fields page builder framework custom post type ui admin columns <laughs> admin menu editor to pro and of course beaver builder let's have a quick look at the comments we've got a p from atomic uh, sorry, Atom Beach. Hey, Atom Beach from Twitter. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Matt says, tell me about your favorite plugin and why it is Hello Dolly. I delete Hello Dolly instantly the minute I install WordPress plugin, along with Askimet or however you say it. We've got a P from Anastasios. You've got a hola, hola from Tristan. We have a hi, guys, from Rick. And Rick obviously telling us that uh, he, too, is looking into Hookton. And finally, we have a, ooh, I love admin columns. Thank you so much folks for joining me on this little wordpress stack approach it is uh, it is the basics that we use we really believe in a lightweight as possible wordpress installation with as little plugins as we can possibly activate the only other plugins we would then consider on an exist on a website like this would be 
um, SEO press if we're going to add SEO, although to be honest, I outsource that because I haven't the first clue um, about improving the SEO of my own websites. Um, and we would also activate Breeze from Cloudways for caching to ensure that we've uh, got fast performance. That's pretty much it. That, oh, and let's talk about Cloudways, uh, agencytrailblazer.com forward slash Cloudways. That's the host that we would recommend you run your sites on because that's the best performance and the best support that we have experienced. Anastasia says, thank you very much for sharing. My pleasure, buddy. Right, folks, that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're watching the replay, hit replay. Um, if you have plugins that you think are freaking awesome, share links in the comments because like Rick said, we all need shiny new objects to go ahead and check out. Enjoy Hook Turn. You're welcome, uh, Rick. Have an awesome day, everyone. And remember, if you can't be good, then I implore you to please be careful.